What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Bowman Draft Jumbo 8-Box Case Break Patience number 11 sold out. This has a $250 giveaway tied into the break if you buy two or more teams. So, if you buy two or more teams, you get entered to win. We'll randomize all the customer names about two or more teams. So, for example, two teams equals one entry, four teams equals two, three, uh, six teams equals three entries, etc. We'll randomize the customer names, and the top five will win 50 bucks back. Remember, no paper-based ships unless it's Marcelo Mayer, uh, Colton Kowser, or Henry Davis. Uh, again, no other exceptions. All other paper will be donated for charity. No requests. Thank you. All right, so we'll do that little giveaway at the end of the break. And <clears throat> here we go. There's everybody else. Franklin got last ball mojo, getting the uh, Oakland A's. And it says Bowman Draft Baseball. And then I, th I think Joe did this. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. Pick your team for YouTube. That way no one steals it. No one steals it from us. lifting enough all right guys so <clears throat> been a good minute since i ripped a whole case of bowman drafts since like release week but uh we'll do four boxes we'll rip four boxes then we'll rip the next four should be about an hour and 15 minute break with a little recap at the end so you should be right on time to get ready for the next one Dallas actually up by 14 over Memphis with seven left in the fourth. Dallas looking to spoil this 11 game winning streak. Jalen Brunson. Remember when everybody was so mad that you got a Jalen Brunson instead of a Luka Doncic? Jalen Brunson has turned into a solid NBA player. now. Damn.
fourth box. And we'll go through the giant towers of cards. Alright, good luck everybody. So we're gonna kinda of try to skim through the base as quickly as we can to get to the break. Calcer paper. Mojica. Mason Miller. And we got Lonnie White Jr. to four ninety nine. Here's the first auto. Jordan Lawler purple paper. <clears throat> Andrew Painter. Noelle Marte. And Christian Encarnacion Strand. Second autograph.
Jordan Varus or Viaris. Pedro Pineda. Ian Moeller. Gold. Garrett Mitchell to 50. Hedberg Perez. Mosicato, Ian Muller. And Mason Black to 199. A little lava. Giants. All right, let's go to the second box now. Mikulski. 150. I know he's pretty popular as well, too. A little blue color match. He was a second round pick, but 39th overall. Still pretty close to a first rounder. Solid hit right there. Andrew Painter. Tyler Black, a little green, and Bryce Miller for the Mariners. Seattle Mariners going to Charles. Kalser.
for Seattle. One out of nine. Too sick. one here. I have another color actually. Dasby. Or maybe not. Tanner. Cleveland Guardians. What Jeff? That's right, Frank. You are going to get somebody. Alright, well, still, we've only done two boxes out of the eight, so we still have plenty of boxes, plenty of hits to go, guys. Jackson Job. Rosario. Mosicato. Also a very top prospect. Seventh overall. Yeah, dude. Nolan Ryan was wild, man. How great he was for how long he played. It's pretty amazing. Cooper Kinney for TV. Anthony with that one. Ajar. What's calf? And Tommy Mace. What up, peoples? Did you really? Damn. I'm sure that's gone up.
<laughs> it's like a fire even. <laughs> it went up like crazy. Harold, what's going on, buddy? Um, you have what? The White Sox and the Rangers. I don't think there's been anything super fun yet. I've only done two boxes, though, so. That's sick, Frank. That's awesome, man. We still should be getting a nice color or something in this box. I feel like we're missing a little bit. Luciano. Tyler Black. Another one to 199. Menzardo is not a first rounder. I feel like there's something big in this box. The first two autographs have been kind of eh. They weren't even colors or nothing. Literally these two cards. So I feel like this has a nice autograph hiding in here. This is just really a dud box. Which could happen. And you probably got it for what? Like 200 bucks maybe? I bet. Something really cheap like that. Kai Bush. Maybe not, I guess. South for Lick. Aaron Lawler. Calvin Ziegler for the Mets. Alexander Vargas. Right. 
Ooh. There you go. Pedro Pineda, that's a gold out of 50. And that's going to go to Last Spot Mojo Frank. There you go. It looks really nice, too, the little color match. Obviously, a lot more to come, but that's a nice one right there. Silva. Whoa. Whoa. Is this autographed? No, it's gold though. Nice. Colton Kowser and Reed Treble or Trimble. 26 out of 50. For the uh, Baltimore Orioles going to Robert. And Bubba Chandler for the Pirates. Blaze Jordan. Jeremy De La Rosa. Freddy Valdez. All right, let's check it out. What we got here? Ooh, we got a black. Ricky Tideman. Damn, the blacks look awesome though. Twenty-nine out of seventy-five. That is a uh, third round pick for the Toronto Blue Jays, going to John. All right, halfway through, guys. Halfway through. Definitely, it should. It should, Ryan. It should. So, 
Mr. Ryan. I forgot to ask you, buddy. What's up with the, the alley relocation? You still got the pad here in the marina? I forget we're in January already. I remember we were talking about this. It was like summertime. Frank. I don't think I'd ever be down to it, but down for it, but it'd be nice to drink and break. Not to the point where like I'm a little intoxicated, because obviously then I'm gonna probably drop your guys' cards and and uh you know I don't want that. I don't wanna mishandle your guys' cards, but just to get a little good buzz on. Gotcha. But regardless, you still want to be out here by March. Oh, so from March to maybe the summertime, like July, you'll just be off. Nice. Sleepovers at Jaspie's. degrees out here man i'm done with this is it really like that over there in uh in what in uh virginia let's see yeah it's like there's like a cold storm going on over there right like crazy There's a wind advisory, guys. There's a wind advisory. But 55. Beautiful 55. It's been really warm lately this week. It's It's been like in the 70s. Which, you know, it's kind of not, not around this time. It's usually in the 70s. No, I, I didn't. I don't really watch the news. I mean, Twitter is my news. Really. I do follow Channel 7, which is ABC7 here. I would hate to be stuck for my car 36 hours. I know, right? But you know what? You're going to be here soon. And then you can be laughing at all your ex-co-workers in, in, in Washington. Sending them their... Sending them your... Uh, your weather updates. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's. I love LA, man. I love Southern California. I grew up here. Have family here. Even if family wasn't here, honestly, I don't know if I could ever live anywhere else. I mean, I'm sure I can. But would I want to? Is the question. I'm just so used to all the high price stuff already. You know, I'm used to be having gas pay like four fifty for a gallon. Rent and mortgage being no less than like twenty five hundred, three thousand minimum. I mean, I used to live. I used to. I used to live in Gardena for almost two years there. But I recently just moved to downtown Long Beach. We found a much nicer place for the price that we were paying in Gardena. Better amenities and all that. And we'll look to buy a house soon, maybe next year or so. But um, you know, now a little farther away from Jaspie's, but I love the location I'm in. And I'm only like, you know, beach. I'm only like a mile and a half from the beach, so. I like it over there. I 
Awesome, buddy. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up, Brody? It's going well, man. Someone, nothing super, super crazy. You know, and then uh, hopefully there's something nice here. I'm just waiting for my, Brian, I don't know if you're talking to me, I don't really have, I mean, I have some nice service, but not that much. I'm just, you know, I'm waiting for Miles Sanders to just break out so I can retire and have my kids taken care of in their future's future. <laughs> There's a PC I have, it's definitely that guy. I think I forgot to do the over under of how many times we hear sirens throughout PCH every day. I have to think it's at least five times a day. At least like when I'm breaking. For sure. what I'm doing here but I like to live dangerously all right let's do this last four here Whew. Brody I don't think I've, I've, I've broke this late before in like months maybe maybe a year Do you, see, do you see how busy I've been all day, dude? 11 hours of breaking today. Shane Panzini. And that's how I started at 2. Out of 250. Ian Muller. Man, Allen better beat the Patriots, dude. I don't know, man. Henry Davis. Nice, Brody. What you get on whatnot? Anything good? Preciado. Thank you. 
tight him in. Steven Hazar. Tanner Allen. Are you um are you gonna are you giving them like what it's going for now though or are you still are you just giving them back their money they invested? God damn it, Ryan! Why you gotta be that guy? I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I think um I think he didn't either because uh, there was another customer earlier that's saying that. That uh, he couldn't find it either. So when I get done with this, I'll uh, I'll look for it really quick. I just wanted to get this break done, and then I'll look for it. Oh, there you go, Stevens was. <laughs> So then you're paying them. You're paying them premium, then, right? Because you're basically, if you're gonna pay them, twelve k each, that means you're valuing it at what thirty six thousand now. It's pretty crazy. You know, Ryan, I, you gotta just come down here already, so that way. Just, you could just cage match them, tables, ladders, chairs, at the show, at the shop here. Sorry, you know, just get it over with. I'll bob, I'll, I'll be the, I'll be in the outside charging tickets, ten bucks a head for guys, five dollars for women, or five women for free actually. Sorry, and then uh, we'll just do that. Micah, Autumn, right? <laughs> I just can't believe it would be that price. So you're saying that right forty thousand dollars for a six box case? So that means basically each box is six grand. Almost seven, I, I guess that's kinda of fair. You know you know we have a fifteen sixteen cup case here still. I've been telling Nick when am I gonna be able to break that for you guys? Full six box fifteen sixteen. Last time I broke a full last time I broke some fifteen sixteen, you guys know what happened. I don't think I've broken any of that since. More steady. It's not authenticated by uh, uh what's his name? What is it, BBC? Facebook Car Exchange or BCE, whatever the whatever the company is called. I don't want it to be GI Joe's in there or something. All right, next one. <laughs> I'm just joking. Nick Gonzalez. The crazy thing about that Pokemon whole scandal shit is that, uh, you know, if you guys read into it, obviously, whoever whoever packed up that that case 
of, you know, a, supposed to be uh, a sealed case of first edition. Literally did that probably like a year or two after it came out, you know? They like try to scam people back in the day, but I guess whoever had it just never opened it. And then origin stories like kind of just flew everywhere. And then, you know, then people thinking, holy shit, like it's the real deal. Because, you know, for people thinking like, oh, you know, the, the tape looks aged and everything. Yeah, it did, right? It did look like a case that hadn't been tampered with, honestly. But whoever did that shit did it way back in the day when that shit first came out. Steven Ajar. Yeah, no, well, that's what I was saying, and I think even uh, Cheyenne uh, even talked about it in that little video. He's like, I even didn't, uh, I didn't I didn't even believe, uh, what's his name, that Card Kahuna dude and all that, because there was, like, four different places, there was four different, like, origin stories of where it came from and this and that, but the only reason why the dude bought it was because it was authenticated by that, uh, that authentication company. If not, he would have never bought it. So that's my thing, is that whoever, like I said... Whoever did that kind of scam was a long, long time ago. Because the box aged so well. You know? But then again, maybe people knew this whole time. Who knows? I think the other dude knew already. I, I think the other guy kind of got caught into it. And was fooled too. But I think the other guy that they can't really reach uh, knew about it. Austin Love to 250. But honestly, if anything, all that publicity on that just still, like, skyrocketed the value of Pokemon boxes that are sealed again. Like, not even a case, obviously, because it's not in existence. But, um, you know, just think about it now. Like, everybody that actually has sealed boxes, their price just skyrocketed. You know what I mean? Logan Paul, like, literally, or who, yeah, was it Logan? I don't remember who it was. Logan, whatever, the Paul brother dude, he, uh, he literally just made it so interesting. Like, imagine if that case was real, and it actually wasn't fake, it would have, like, tripled the price of that. It's like, all, even bad publicity was good publicity on that. We have Sam Bachman. Kevin Copps. Uh, I mean, yeah, you still feel bad for the guy Brody in the sense that, uh, that, uh, you know, he, he kind of got scammed too, but he got his money back, right? You know? So I don't think he's worried about that. And same thing with, and, you know. He still has his, like, six boxes or whatever he has sealed. Five boxes. FSU, I think you missed it, man. We sold out of them yesterday. We had them all in the store. People coming in asking for G.I. Joe's that Mike had from, like, you know, the 90s. And put them out in the store, and they all sold out. Mosicato. Ben, for the Royals.
Mosaic random team number two, Ryan, has not broken yet. It's tied into the uh, team random filler that sells out with that prestige uh, hanger box break. So that's why you haven't seen it. Luke Murphy. Dominguez. <laughs> You're good. You're good, Ryan. Brad Batty. Connor Norby. Oh, man, I'm trying, Ryan. Dang. I wish you had the Mets. You usually do get the Mets all the time, and I've been hitting a lot of Mets color. Who are we looking for for the White Sox, though? Who do the White Sox have prospect-wise and Rangers? Because there's no rookie stuff on this, is there? No, it's, I think it's all... No, it's all draft, yeah. Brady House. Michael Jordan. Magically slept into this uh, top product. Ethan Wilson for the Phillies. It's the first time I've seen an Ethan Wilson redemption. That's right. I knew Savala was in there. I mean, I know in Bowman's best he's a redemption. Is he live here? Kolsky. Harry Ford. Luis Rodriguez. Colton Kauser. Mosicato, blue color match to 150. And for the Dodgers, green first. Ben Casparius. Excuse me. That was a random yawn. Well, the good thing is this is a... Uh, we're giving away some money back, so that's the good thing. Marcelo Meyer. That's our second Invicta. Sir.
<laughs> I know, buddy. I know, man. Luis Rodriguez. Maddox Burns. It's like three straight Dodgers right there. Jesus. Ooh, nice Marcelo Mayer. Yeah, I mean, it's been months, dude. It's, it's going to turn at one point. There's no way. All, and all it's going to pay is it's just going to take that one hit, too. Hunter Goodman. Find out on the next episode of Pokemon. <laughs> All right. All right. Last box, guys. I'm at an hour exactly, so we did pretty good. Henry Davis. Last box, Mojo. Mojo. Manzardo to start us off. Second rounder. My video stopped again. Okay, I think we're fine. Sabato. Henry Davis to 250. Oh, it's good, okay. Honestly, I think we need a new camera, to be honest. Or at least the wiring for the camera. Jordan McCants. We've had this camera for a pretty long time already. It's funny because I had brought it up to Joe. Like, I've been having problems with it the last few weeks. Except today, actually. But, but yeah, I'm the one that brought it up to Joe last week. And he's like, no, I haven't had any problems. And then finally he started having the problems and he believed me. Because he's like, no, it's probably just because you have too many web browsers open. I'm like, no, <laughs> it has nothing to do with that. And he finally, he finally, uh, he finally got gone through what I was going through. It like it like uh, freezes every once in a while, so you'd have to turn off the camera and turn it back on. But, yeah.
Hernandez for TV. Ryan Webb. All right, it's got to be a good color here, right? No Marcelo Mayer, no Colton Kowser, no Henry Davis. This case has been whack, man. Come on, pick up, man. There better be a nice, good last autograph here. Now we're rioting. KC paper fifty uh, paper uh, gold. Jose Torres. Ryan Webb. Should be hiding in this last little stack. Wow, actually, did I already pull three autographs? Oh, oh wait, I might have already pulled three. What? I was wondering why the autograph was so quick. Gosh darn it. One, two, three. Whack. I already pulled it. Hey, Nick, what's going on, buddy? I know, man. Hockey. We did OPG Platinum earlier, but we don't really have too much. Like I was telling, Ro I was telling Ryan, we have a 15-16 uh, cup hockey case, but I don't know what we're doing with it. But I'm hoping that hockey does have some new releases this month. I know they were supposed to. And then cup should be in a few months. But, um, yeah, hopefully, man. So we haven't really bought so many older products to bring back to the website besides the ones we've had already, like Opichi Platinum and like, you know, Lore and stuff like that. In a picker team, I wouldn't know. But a uh, random team, I think it'd be more fair, right? Alrighty, guys. Well, unfortunately, I don't think this case was the best case we've done before. No really bigger prospects, but quick little, uh, little recap. Hopefully, we get a better case for the next one. A lot of base. Pacheco is nice. Not too crazy, though, right? Black, Goodman, Manzardo, McCants, Casparius, Panzini. And we had a lot of cards, of course, that would be Penny State to be top loaded. I paid for it just to ensure there would be no McDavid. What do you mean by that?
All right, so there you go, guys. Uh, remember, we are still doing a little giveaway for this. This is not a, a uh, wax promo break, but we do have a little giveaway tied into it. So let's switch teams really quick. And we're giving away $250, top five names. That about two or more teams will get randomized. And top five, get 50 bucks back. Oh, <laughs> yeah, everybody would pay for the Oilers. I'd sell, like, every team in a picker team style, but the Oilers be, like, a filler. And then everybody gets a fair shot at them. <sighs> I'd have to assume they're, like, the $8,000 team now, probably in a cup, in a cup case of six boxes, probably. I mean, what does a cup box go for now? Like, five, like four or five thousand, probably. Alright, so one spot there, one spot there, one spot there. Charles with two. Yay. Franklin, you got three, but we'll give you that last spot mojo spot right there. Greg one, Jeff with three. That's at least one entry. Jeff, John two, Karen two. Kevin, Mark with four, so that's two entries. Matthew two. Michael, Rob, Ryan two, and Rex with one. Wow, this would be really good odds for you guys. Fifty percent. Actually, better than 50%. Alright, so here you go. Top 5, get 50 bucks back. <laughs> Don't say that, Ryan. 5 and a 2, six, uh, 7 times. Negative energy, man. 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven. <laughs> that was on you, Ryan. That's because you were negative. Karen, Jeff, John, Matthew, and Franklin. Good Lord. All right. All right, so um, I'll give out 50 bucks each to you guys. Appreciate it.